first place of the group, Impact Esports. So I'm picking these sports now on the attacker side. Now let's get interesting. We do see uh, the new unit being picked up here. Super interesting. Two times being picked up. Uh, I want to see the you know, unit uh, actually in game. Super excited here. Uh, Flame is obviously in the pool. They play some uh, Asian tower shields as well. Berserkers being picked up since they're just having insane value. Some claimers in there for the extra damage. Um, yeah, really, really offensive lineup here. Really, really aggressive lineup. Not even a lot of range. I think they're playing two, three changes here. But yeah, really, really infantry heavy across the board. Some cav to follow up. Uh, solid for an aggressive push. And look at the hero classes here. So much damage also on the offense team. Um, they didn't switch to, to more defensive kind of heroes. They just are down to kill. And <laughs> if you look on the other side, this is just Berserkers. Man, like 5, 8, 10, 11. 11 Berserkers for Divinity. Um, do we see Sally out with Berserkers, boys? Is it possible? Like 3 Kev and rest Berserkers? Aside from like 1 Empire Pike? Dude, man, like, <laughs> this is interesting. Now, now we're talking, boys. Now we're talking. And we actually have uh, four people starting on B side here. And this could be perfect timing to Sally out. Looks like they want to actually go for it. Yes, they're going to go for it. This is, this, is, this is what we're looking for. Being desperate here as the just bottom of the group. Having trouble to open the gate, maybe. Now it is on. Uh, Trap's gonna hit a lot of people. Boom. And yeah, Berserk is just, uh, just selling out here. The Cap is gonna follow up. They're gonna look for the perfect uh, spots to go in. And yeah, looking, well, looking solid right now. Um, Impact Esports really has to swap units immediately. Oh, Flamies. Flamies just doing too much work. Okay, they're stopping them at the bridge, man. They're stopping them at the bridge, and now they can actually push them back. I think the Berserkers, if they do not get to the Flamies, really good job by Arya Khan here, just going into the Flamies. Um, yeah, maybe a bit too late, but it uh, was at least uh, an even trade from what I'm seeing here. Some flamies still alive. If more people would actually go for the... Oh, actually, all flamies alive here, right? Yeah, that's all flamies alive. Okay, that this is um, probably no way that the defender is going to get a big win. Killing the flamies would be a big win, though. Uh, Togar suiciding for the flamies here. Now, switching to a hero should have maybe uh, tried to pick up like one, two more flamies. But um, yeah, <laughs> really, really nice one. Uh, and meanwhile, be getting capped. Uh, the divinity guys have to retreat to home. And how was the unit trade, though? Actually, so many unit losses on Impact Esports side. This might be what divinity needs. They have the advantage now. Maybe can kill off uh, a few guys on on C because uh, the Impact Esports team is just um, way overextended here. They need to get punished. They need to get punished right now. And then uh, at this point. Maybe killing off Sexy Smoke, Divinity would need to retreat immediately to the endpoint. Otherwise, um, they're just gonna run into all the resupplies. This photo pickup could be a thing now. Uh, they're gonna get trapped here. Gonna get trapped. Where's the trap? Where's the trap? The trap is up. Now the trap is going down. Way too far behind, though. Ooh, man. Really nice charge. I, I love the desperation here from Divinity. Like, no matter how this game goes, they deserve some, some credit. We're just having the balls to pull off this play. Um, let's go get the flamies under to the supply as well. Kill him off, kill him off. I don't know why uh, some of Divinity are actually not committing on a supply. Like if you want to commit on a play, you should do it as a full team. You guys on the back there, next traps going down. And yeah, the defenders should actually, uh, in my opinion, just take this win and now defend home and just uh, take the unit lead. 
play smart at home and you can basically auto win right it's gonna be a long 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 defense but um would be would be pretty pretty nice uh, if they can pull it off rotation now over to the berserker spawn point over to the left here and um yeah it looks like a piggy spurts it's gonna rush it uh, there's no way the defenders can get into position for that um also with the uh berserker spawn cap that is not only giving some time it's called berserker spawn because they're actually spawning berserkers so there should be no defense on c here to not give the enemy team more value they have 11 traps left and all of these traps can actually hit them there so i would not go more aggressive but they don't stop man the choo choo train is on and yeah this looks like just uh everyone <laughs> going into the same place uh nice trap here nice trap nice trap nice trap trap here is really smart uh let him walk into the trap or oh, this trap value man juicy juicy three hit and yeah first uh, guys uh off the minute you're gonna get killed off here it is so um so rough and a lot of Imperial packs, I mean, looks like they're advancing after each other, but uh, there's so much time where, like, multiple impacts advance at once. So that's really, really rough uh, for the defenders here. And looks like the defenders are throwing the lead that they have. I mean, they get no units out here. Maybe, maybe small chance on being successful, but they just did throw their lead. I mean, going home, doing the safe... Uh, the safe W here, uh, like playing for the safe W was the play. Uh, unit score is evening out now, and uh, Impact Esports is really happy about the uh, overextension uh, from Divinity here. Oh, another Cataphrax is actually gonna gonna get put out here. This uh, guy is gonna die for sure. We have 40 here with some range dudes. There's no way these uh, Cataphrax are gonna do anything. Except if the port is stop bracing and then to start walking. Holy shit, what am I watching? If they would have stayed braced, then I would have been fine. And um, yeah, like this Cataphrax got more value than it should have gotten. But still, um, really big win for the offense here. And now the unit count is even, boys. We're going to see a death match on the end point really, really soon. Super fun game, but man, maybe just take the fucking win when you're in the lead <laughs> as defender and just go home and then just uh, play the clock. But yeah, like, yeah, I think this ball legs most likely is gonna drop here. Hydra gonna live by the looks of it. Nice one, but uh, yeah, like five guys on C. Should go for the reset. There's six minutes, that's not enough time to play for it. I mean, Offense has eight trebuchets left. Why are you fighting on C, guys? Why are you fighting on C? Are you just going to get trapped? You have 350 units. That's like enough traps to just uh, kill half of your units. <laughs> I mean, you can dodge the traps, like, uh, but uh, why would you actually go for it? Um, and Peggy's what's taking the free supply. Smart play. Um, just taking the free space on the map and now making the defenders uh, maybe panic a bit. Like, some of them might just... Uh, Head to the base, while others stay on C, and um, yeah, they need to take a decision here what to do. They don't have, they don't even nearly have the units on C to to fight here, and they're still sitting around. It's like a three units that just uh, sit here, four on C, and if they suicide those units, then it's just gonna be a free win for Impact Esports. Five units on C now. Still not enough. Uh, look at look at this tr train here. Like uh, this is the uh, Impact Esports train now, and this is everything they have basically. So yeah. As I said, getting trapped, man. Getting trapped. Getting slapped like flies. Jeez. And now Shenji is just raining onto them as well. I have no clue why they do choose to fight on C here. This is really questionable. But maybe that's also like uh, the difference, right? Because uh, super nice cheese play. Um, got the value. Did catch the uh, group um, leaders here off guard. Uh, getting a big unit lead and then uh, just throwing it away right away. <laughs> and now, yeah, the unicorn is just dropping and losing... Uh, 100 units like instantly and now there's a proper push from impact esports 
supported by the range dudes and everyone is gonna drop here c is gonna be kept in a second we're just gonna finish off all those heroes and now they get a free uh run onto the end point why they just uh kept c of a few guys and everyone else is gonna go to home gonna finish the game uh yeah really fun game to be honest but man divinity you had the opportunity to just win against the first place of the group take a game away from them and um oh man just throw it right away again really nice uh cheese play though going for the sally out and uh, going aggressive against the guys that overextend on c but afterwards you should have gone back to be honest and uh yeah GG, uh, 2 0 here for the um, first place of uh, this group. Or I think everyone watching this game now sees the weakness uh, also of the guys that didn't lose any games uh, in this group yet. Because uh, they should have lost it against uh, a team that just knows their win condition at some point. Like, you just pull back with that big of a lead. Like, there's no way that the offense is going to do anything without a Terry on home. So, yeah, like. GG's uh, big props here to uh, Divinity for the nice, nice uh, showing. Really entertaining one, to be honest. And long sword MVP again. <laughs> what can I say? Not even the big of support points, though. No, I'm excited for the last games now. I was like. Kind of falling asleep a little in, in the first game here, and like the second game just blew it all off. Really, really nice. <laughs> really, really nice one. Enjoyed that one a lot. Super shaky uh, second game here from him.